Hi, I'm Simon Lang, and welcome to China Challenges. In this video, we are going to be talking about WeChat and the how to use WeChat groups. Okay, first we're going to talk about the first steps of setting up a WeChat group, uh, how to specify rules for your group, inviting people, and um, uh, some things to watch out for when you are doing the group. Okay, so first open the WeChat. I'm going to start the recording now. Three, two, one. Okay. There's, there's several ways to do it, but one way is to uh, search for the uh, person um, and then start invite another person to it. Press the plus sign here and I'm going to invite my colleague Frank. Frank. Okay, now you've started a group. Um, the group, as you can see, has three people at the top um, and you press the three dots on the right side to set the group name and to do other things. So I'm going to set it as WeChat Test Group. test group okay and then we started one of the things you can see there's lots of options here group notice is where you put the group new rules new people who come into the group will see the rules and will know what type of group it is what's expected what's not expected in China a group administrators are liable for what goes on in the group. So things like uh, distributing pornography or drugs can get you arrested. So it's very important to put in the group note what's expected and what's not expected. Um, uh, before, a few years ago, it's a bit more of a wild west, but uh, now people see that. And you should also uh, enforce that, okay? Um, as you can see, you can go back to the main thing and you can say test. test. All right, so to uh, change the group notice, you click on group notice and you type this. Um, uh, a normal rules are no ads, no porn. Um, if you are unsure, check with the group admin. Great. I'm going to post it now. In addition, there are some other ones that you have here. Manage group. So you can transfer the ownership or do invitation and approval. So most of the time you want to uh, uh, toggle this on so that when people come, they have to get approval from you to join the group, okay? Um, if it is something uh, for marketing, it's gonna be a short-term group that won't last very long. Sometimes that's not ne necessary. But if you don't approve people, then it's a chance that some spammers will come and spam your group. The other ones that I highly recommend, if it's gonna be a big group, you may want to use mute no notifications. So it won't beep or flash when the notifications come. There'll still be a little red dot to say there's a new message, but it won't uh, interrupt you. Uh, the other one is, if you're gonna be using it a lot, you put it on sticky on top. As you can see, you can also change your alias in the group. Uh, sometimes putting admin or something else is useful for this. Also, if you have a group that's been a while around for a long time and you think there's a lot of people who are not active and you want to clear them out, you can use the changing your alias in the group to um, weed the people out. Say, all the people who are active in the group and read the group, change your alias to have a star or an at sign and then you'll be able to scroll down, see which people don't have a at sign, and then you'll delete it, okay? Um, 
So that's that's the beginning of um, of how to do this. Okay. Um, so one of the other things that I wanted to talk about is uh, some examples of different types of groups. Um, one of the groups that we have is called jokes group. Jokes and funnies. So this one has different uh, uh, different uh, memes and other things on it. And um, anyway, sometimes they can be uh, a bit uncouth, but sometimes they are funny. Um, but it's a jokes and funnies group. I also have memes. We also have a buy and sell. Um, just go one of these ones. Managing buy and sell. As you see here, they have pictures of items to sell. People say how much the price is and uh, where to pick it up. Um, and then often they add them on personal message once it's done. Um, the Sending group also has a very good example of a group rules, group notice. Uh, don't chat, just talk about the uh, items that are for sale. You know, honest description, size, price, pickup location, gives you an example of what the post should be. And this one, they also say if you copy and paste it and then say sold, whoever is first to post it on the chat is the person who gets to buy it. Okay. Um, also, there are other things. If the people don't come and collect it and buy it in seven days, you can uh, put it up for sale again. It's a very useful group, and I use it often. Um, so, um, some other other tips. Um, one of the things that you, you can do is you say you put it at the top, um, so you can. Uh, Sticky on top, access it quickly. Um, sometimes, uh, if you have somebody who is misbehaved, you can go to their um, account and then you can edit what their, their name is to you. So you can say, has given them one warning, given them two warnings, okay? Um, so we have edit contact. So they won't see this, but you will see this and you can also uh, this is a good guy um, or often there's the alias um, current maybe you put a star or something here we go put a star and you're done and then when you see him in the group you'll, ha you'll have a star and you'll be able to know it's a little code name that he's a good guy or bad guy something like that um, some people will try to spam groups. You get people who spam groups for events and for advertising for jobs. In, in China, uh, there's a scarcity of English teacher job, English teachers, and so many people are trying to recruit English teachers. So be careful about that. That can also um, get carried away. Um, the yeah. Also, sometimes if you're using your group to give people information. If it's something that they really want or they want to reference it, it's, it's good to use a big group one. But actually, if you are inviting people to an event, it's often easier to um, invite them individually. So you send them individual messages. If you don't have the chance to invite them individually, then uh, writing a, a message where the people uh, can see one, two, three. Come, come, sir. Come to a fun event, and then one Simon, then two uh, Frank, three something else. Okay. Sometimes you, you also need to hold on to things to um, replace or do a new line. Do a new line. Event. Here's another one here. New line. Oh. Do two by mistake.
And so you'll see it'll have this, uh, where you have one, two, and people can see other people coming, and you can get make it popular. Um, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't, um, but it's better than just giving a blanket uh, um, one. Sometimes, or if you see this, or it says at all, that means everyone in the group will get a notification that you changed something. So some people use changing the group rules to notify people and give the invitation. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. As I mentioned that the best way is to send messages to people individually. So that's my little tutorial on how to use WeChat groups and uh, some ways of doing it. Leave your comments below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you next time for WeChat 2. Um, favorites. Dun, 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 dun.